Hello, everybody. Welcome to this Grimly Game live stream. I am here joined by Evan Johnson, the creator of Zookeen. Hello. Um, I can see we already have a couple people here. Kent and Johnson. Um, hi, how are you doing? Um, we're going to start with a couple questions for the Zoo King master, Evan Johnson himself, and then we'll get into a live play test of Zoo King. Um, so first off, Evan, what made you think to start making a game and how did Zoo King come to be? Well, first of all, thanks for having me and hosting this live stream. Grimly Games is a channel that I, I found uh, about a year ago and I was like, hey, you know, the games that you're covering fit perfectly with Zoo King. So, so thanks again. Um, it's been a wild past year and who knows how long, year and a half, I guess. Um, I've always, I've always liked board games. Um, I guess as much as the next fella, um, maybe a little bit more. I'm kind of competitive and I like, you know, I like fantasy sports and that sort of thing. And, um, I like sports and uh, I like zoos, always loved animals. Uh, it's funny, I, I, after designing the game, I went back to my parents' house for a, a visit and I found some of my old things and I had drawings and books, animal books that I had made, um, tons of animal toys. So I've always loved animals. So when, when uh, we had more time to play games during the whole pandemic last year, we, uh, we were kind of looking for a new game and I thought, just make our own and let's make it zoo themed. So that's kind of how it all started and came about. That's awesome. Well, having played Zoo King, I'm very excited that it is now going to be available for more people to try. And Evan, congratulations. Less than seven hours, fully funded. Um, what do you want to say to everybody about that? Because I know that there's, there's a lot of feelings with that and I'm, I know you're proud of everything that happened. Yeah, it's really, um, it was really exciting. So I just want to thank uh, all the backers, all of our family and friends and our Instagram followers that showed up well yesterday for the launch and all of the Kickstarter pre followers who were patiently, you know, waiting for this game. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. As a small first time publisher, um, just kind of getting off the ground, we had no idea what to expect. Um, so we, we didn't know if we were going to hit the 5,000 at any point during the campaign. Um, just being so, so small and having, you know, some limited resources. So to see us hit that goal on day one and just to see all the pledges come in, it was really fun. Um, so we're super excited for the rest of the campaign um, and just, you know, making this whole project super amazing. So we're excited for you guys to play the game and, uh, yeah, hopefully you can get a little bit of, you know, a feel for it when we do the live stream here in a little bit. Uh, it's nothing like holding the cards. Um, so you might not be able to pet a tiger someday, but you'll be able to hold a really cool looking tiger card and kind of get that feeling of, you know, having a zoo. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I remember the, one of the first times when I, I play tested the game and my brother-in-law and my sister, they were just having the time of their lives looking at every time a new, a new animal was flipped over and then fighting over which one that they could get for their zoo. Yeah. It was a really fun time. So I'm really excited for when this comes and is out because I'm one of the backers. So that'll be exciting when it comes to our household. Full disclosure, right? You're one of the backers. Yes, I'm one of the backers. <laughs> well, are you ready to get into our game on Tabletop Simulator? Yeah, I think so, unless you have any other questions for me or if anyone uh, that's watching has a question, be happy to yeah. answer. And feel free to, you know, throw in your questions throughout, whether it's about yes, the game or how it happened. Everybody leave your questions in the comments, and we're going to start this tabletop simulator and answer any questions you have throughout. So, okay, Evan, can you see my screen well? Yeah, it looks like... Uh, it looks like I can see your screen and there it showed up on the live stream too after, okay. uh, after a second. So perfect. Well, cool. Let's get this game started. Yeah. So, uh, this is tabletop simulator. It's, it's, uh, going to be obviously very different from playing in person. Um, the cards are a lot smaller, right <laughs> on the computer screen, but, uh, I had, uh, I had someone implement this into a digital version so that people could, you know, demo it and enjoy it. 
uh, anytime as long as you have tabletop simulator which uh, uh, you can get through steam so what you're looking at here is a sample setup how the game would look after you've done all the setup so on the left and right here you'll see some cards these are staff and facility cards staff on the left facility cards on the right and sorry i'm not yeah there you go so brandon's got the i'm the red <laughs> um and we'll talk about those there in a second you see there's two decks and rows in the middle of the table the top one is the animal deck and that will be the animal market and the bottom one is the staff and facility deck and market uh, obviously we have some money cards and then we have some event cards uh, which are the white cards, which are different things that are going to happen at the beginning of each turn. And we have some yellow cards, which are the award cards, which really Zoo King is, uh, my vision was putting the, the popular 2000, I don't know what year it was, around the year 2000, uh, the Zoo Tycoon PC game, my vision was to put that into a card game. So you're trying to win awards for your zoo. And Brandon, if you want to zoom in on that one reference card uh, in the corner that that uh, has the um, let me see, remind me in. how to how to, to zoom it again. Do I so if you go down to just do alt, I've only done tabletop simulator one time. Sorry, so alt should be alt to um, to pull it up. Hmm. Or maybe it's uh, control for you. Control. Control and click, or just control. Um, you know, we'll have to double check here. Oh wait, wait. Oh, I got it. Option. Option. Okay. So this is a reference card, um, and you'll see on the bottom there's a list of awards. So there's ten awards that you'll be going for in the game, and the object is to win as many awards as possible because um, after everyone has had an equal number of rounds, which is determined by the player count, then the award cards st st uh, start coming out. And you're gonna play the first one to three wins. So the first award phase, there's gonna be a few awards that come out. And if someone, um, in a two player game, it's actually gonna be first to four. In a three or four player game, it'll be first to three wins. So in our game here, the first player to win four awards is the zoo king or queen. Um, so we're gonna hit a point where we start giving out awards, but if after the first phase, no one has gotten to four, then we'll have another set of turns and things will get even more intense and more competitive <laughs> before the awards come out. And you know, there's 10 awards and it's very common that there's a tie for, the, for those awards. So, so for each award, there's a tiebreaker and sometimes it just goes back to the bottom and you'll be competing for it again if it comes up later. So it's really interesting. Uh, things are two, no two games are ever the same, and you don't know what's going to happen. So you really got to position yourself, uh, balance yourself, but uh, not spread yourself too thin either. Um, so let's go ahead and I'll click start. I think we have a question. We do. I see. Award? Yeah, from Kent Johnson. So Evan, what's your favorite award? Um. It's funny, I never thought about what, what's my favorite award <laughs> to go for when playing Zoo King. Um, you know, I try. I feel like I try out a different strategy every time. And, you know, a lot of people go for Big Cat King. So that's the award for whoever gets the most felines. And you can see on the reference card, most of these awards will have a, um, a corresponding icon on the animal. So... The high flyer, that goes to the player that has the most birds. So you can see there's a bird icon on those cards. Um, and there's, um, you know, when you read the directions and play it through, you'll you'll understand it and, and remember these things more. But so for like Big Cat King, it's forever has the most cards with the most feline icon. So a common thing is, is people go for Big Cat because a lot of the cats are not only obviously going to help you win that award, but they're also endangered animals. So they might help you win the top conservationist. Uh, they're dangerous animals, a lot of those, so they'll help you win the most dangerous awards. So sometimes an animal will help you in to win multiple awards. Um, I personally probably like the top conservationist because I like to be able to win having protected endangered species, you know, having those in my zoo. So 
the object of the game is to, uh, you know, obviously win the most awards. You're building the best zoo. You're going to need some staff and facilities to provide you with resources or protect you from certain events during the game. So uh, that's kind of how it all plays in. You also notice each um, each animal has one of these habitats on their card. So um, habitats also play into the award. So like the best themed award is whoever has the most of a single habitat or the most diverse is who can get the most different habitat, habitat types in their zoo. So you'll be referring to this reference card for maybe the first two times you play, but after that, you'll get sucked into the world and it's very thematic. So it's easy to remember, oh yeah, that's an endangered animal. Plus you have the icon. So it becomes really easy and really competitive, um, you know, when you get into it. So let's see, with that said, I've handed out the starting money. So each player starts with $1,000. And the first thing that you're gonna do is hire one of these staff members or facilities um, that are on the table right now. So these are what we call starter cards. So each of these is a potential card that you could start with. So you just pulled up the vet, you know, this, uh, each of these cards has a unique benefit that lasts throughout the game. Uh, the, the trainer will save you, uh, get you a discount on some an uh, show type animals, animals that have that show tent icon. Um, so yeah, I mean, what, what you do is you just take a look at all of them on the left or right side of the table. Um, you can kind of put them out in the middle of the table when you're playing with the cards or just put them all in your hand and pass them around. A lot of people like to start with the carousel or the dipping Dots because those are just really nostalgic and fun and they'll get <laughs> extra money during the game. I kind of like to start with, uh, with a, a free starter card like the Safari Grill or the Security Guard, because that way I can start the game with all of my starting money versus, you know, if you get the Carousel or, or the Dippin' Dots, they're more expensive, um, but they do help you recoup that money throughout the game. So let's just go ahead here, and uh, Brandon, you choose your starter card. I think I might go with the Aviary. I really enjoyed that one the last time we played, so I think I'm going to go with that one. So. Remind me again how I select a card. Do I do I just draw it? Yeah, you okay. can just drag and drop. I usually just tap the one button, and that'll pull it into my hand straight, and then I can just drag it yeah. onto the table. Okay, there we go. That works. So then for me, I now pay $300, correct? Correct, yeah. Okay. So aviary, if the birds come up, uh, it's really good, but if they don't, or if you're playing with more players and everyone decides to grab it before you can get it, <laughs> sometimes not work out so great. Um. I'm going to choose the, um, let's see, I'll choose the Safari Grill. Okay. So what this card does is it pays me an extra $100 anytime that I draw an admissions card. So there's different events in the deck, and you'll see that it, it got organized a little bit when I clicked a button. So the way you organize the event deck is you'll have a certain set of events. So for a two-player game, it'll be 18 events at the top. So Brandon and I will each get, or is it 16? You'd think I, I would remember. It's right 16. here. Yeah. <laughs> 16 for two players. So we'll each get eight turns before the first set of awards comes up. So those events could be admissions to get us money or an animal escape, and you'll wish that you had a security guard for that. <laughs> um, so different things that can happen, you'll see. So now that we've chosen our starter card and uh, we're ready to start building our zoos. So I'll, uh, what happens here, right? It's obviously different when you're playing with in, you know, the actual cards. The starter staff and facilities get mixed in in this bottom gray deck. They'll get shuffled there with the rest of the staff and facility cards, which the ones that aren't shown that are not starter cards are ones, uh, staff and facility cards that have a one-time immediate benefit versus an ongoing benefit throughout the game. So let's get to it. Perfect. So while we get started here, uh, a reminder, if anybody has a question, we would love to answer any of those throughout this live stream. Uh, so leave that in the chat. And as we play, we'll get to those questions. Okay, Evan, who goes first? Is it you or is it me? So I'll go first since I chose my starting card last. Okay. And then we'll go back around the around the, the table normally. So whoever chooses their starter card last goes first. Um, 
So on your turn, right, we've laid out these animal markets, staff and facility market. On my turn, the first thing I'm going to do is draw an event card, which is easier in real life, apparently, <laughs> in Tabletop Simulator. And if you zoom in on that, you'll see it's an animal show. And that's interesting. So sometimes this happens. There's animals in the game that have that show tent icon, like the like a few that are in the market right now, which uh, if anyone had those animals, then they'd gain $100 for each animal of that show type that's in their zoo. But no one has one right now because it's the first <laughs> turn, so no one gets any money, um, which may or may not mean that, uh, you know, certain cards are less valuable maybe. Um, it's a good point. Two of those animal show events. So let's see. Now I get two actions. I can choose an animal from the market. I can choose a staff or facility card, purchasing it, paying the price. Uh, if I don't like what I see, I can draw the top card from either deck, animal or staff or facility, uh, take a chance, but I have to either buy it or discard it if I can't afford it or don't want it. Um, you can purchase something from the discard pile at a discount. We'll see if that comes into the game at all. Um, or you can exchange an animal of equal uh, rating, but we'll see if that comes into the game at all either. Sometimes that comes in more towards the end. So for my turn, uh, and you can do those in any combination, or if you only want to do one action, you could, though it's not recommended because then you're <laughs> missing out on some animals. Um, so, you know, I, I think I'll... You know, there's a risk for going big at the beginning because if you only have one animal and you have to trade an animal, then you might be trading that that really good animal you have. That's a good point. So, so I'm going to be a little bit more strategic, and I'm going to go with the uh, I'm going to go with another free card, the Capybara. If you want to zoom in on that, Brandon. Yeah, of course. This is an animal that I had the uh, I've had the privilege of seeing in person uh, <laughs> in Brazil and also at the uh, Santa Barbara Zoo some years back. So, okay. so I'll get a Capybara. Um, and right now I'm not thinking too much about what awards I want to go for. I'm kind of thinking what animals I like, and I, I try to build a strategy around that. So that's my challenge to myself, maybe as the creator of the game, is to try to find you know how I can build the zoo I like, but still make it a winning zoo. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be mean I'm going to grab the owl so you can't get it for free. Very strategic move. Yeah, so now I have two animals, uh, three different habitats covered, though, because the owl is uh, mountain and desert habitat. Capybara is a water animal. So, um, so that's my turn. I did two actions, and then at that point, you refresh what you took, and then it's Brandon's turn. So that's kind of how it goes. Okay, so... Now that I can't get the Great Horned Owl, <laughs> which was a fantastic strategic move, I'm going to grab the ice cream stand because that is $300 and it's going to give me extra $100 with all admission events. So I'll pull this in and take 200 and change. Let's see if I can tap the right. Okay. And that's smart. There's the ice cream stand. If you can get it on your first turn is really good because, you know, none of the admissions have come out yet. So he could maximize that extra hundred on every admission that comes out. Okay. Yeah, I think I have an extra 200 somehow. So I had 700 and that was 300. Okay. Yeah. You should have 500 right now, right? Oh, Evan. I totally forgot to do an event just like I did the last time we played. <laughs> and that happens, you know, sometimes uh, make sure you just in tabletop, just grab it really quick. Otherwise it grabs the whole deck. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Um, so yeah, sometimes you might forget. So you want to kind of keep the other players accountable that they're drawing their events. But if you get back to the first player and you, you see that somehow it got messed up, then you can just figure it out by just either not doing the event or having the, per you know, just replaying the event until we get to the award. So. Okay. So we've got corporate sponsor receive a hundred dollars for each facility in your zoo or a hundred dollars off your purchase of the facility this turn. So when my turn started, I didn't have the ice cream stand. So we both had one and we both get a hundred dollars. 
So the uh, event cards apply only oh. to the person that drew it unless it says all players on it. So sounds good to me. Yep. So another one might say all players receive something if it's for everyone. Okay. And then I'm going to do my second one. I need to be saving on money. So I'm going to go with the security guard. Okay. Your turn, Evan. Very good. All right. My event is <laughs> interesting. The exhibit exchange. If you want to zoom in on that one, you and an opponent of your choice must trade one animal at random. Wait, what happens in this case? In this case? Yeah, because I don't have any animals. Do you just give me one or does nothing happen? So nothing happens. Okay. Yeah. So um, if, 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 you know, if there's not two players with at least one animal, then it's null and void. Um, but it's interesting, right? If I had drafted just the polar bear on my first turn and you had drafted just the alligator, then there would be a trade and it wouldn't be so random because we only have one animal. <laughs> you, you would have won that trade. So in real life, when that comes up, you put your animals in your hand, your animal cards, and you pick from the other person's hand at random. And that is really a, an interesting and funny moment. Sometimes there's like the same card gets traded throughout the game. It's like, how are we always picking the Austrian? <laughs> so, um, but yeah, that, that's, that's a fun event and can, can change things a little bit. So, <laughs> um, now that I got one of those out of the way, what the heck? I'm going to go, I'm going to go big and get the polar bear. Okay. That also gives me a, a rare, a rare habitat, which, uh, as you might have seen on that reference card, it tells you how many, how, how many, of e how many animals of each habitat are in the game. There's only two polar animals, so um, I've got a good thing going for the most diverse award now. <laughs> I should probably figure out what I want to do at this point. Um, you know what? Maybe I'll just take advantage of having a lot of themes, and I'll get this tour guide card. So okay. this tour guide lets me draw a hundred dollars for each uh, habitat um which i might have said theme because we used to call them themes uh before but a uh, hundred dollars for each habitat so that's four habitats in my zoo water mountain desert because the owl is two and the polar bear so i'll draw 400 and uh okay. my turn is my turn is now over okay so i'm gonna remember to do the event and then we'll flip that over. Let's see what we got. Zoo inspection. If you don't have a staff facility and animal card, pay a hundred dollars. Okay. So you have to pay a hundred or discard one card. Yep. Yeah. So um, you don't have an animal, so you failed inspection as a zoo, right? What zoo doesn't have any animals? I guess mine. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. I can I can discard one of them. Or pay a hundred dollar fine. Or pay a hundred. Okay. Let's see what we got out here and see if I want to afford the fine. And there's an award for the most staff cards too. So sometimes you know discarding a staff might might hurt you more than you think. That's true. We'll pay the hundred dollar fine and see see where we go from there. <laughs> so you either pay the fine or you fire someone. So. <laughs> I guess you opened your zoo a little bit too soon to the public. I think I did. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go with, we're going to get an animal because we are sorely lacking in that. We're going to get an alligator, which is 200. And then let's see what we got. And yeah, there's different strategies. Some people like to load up on facilities at the beginning and hope that that will kind of secure them for the rest of the game and they can just get all animals for the you know rest of the game. But sometimes, like you just experienced, it can backfire a bit. <laughs> We're going to get a cheetah and see where that leaves me going forward. All right. So we'll refresh the market and you'll probably hope that we draw an admissions card here. So let's see what it is. That would be great. Tour group. So this is just pretty straightforward. Whoever drew it gets 200. 
And if an opponent happened to have the tour guide, then that opponent could draw 100, but you do not have that, unfortunately. So, um, I don't have enough money for this, but another thing that comes into the game is there's a few animals that have duplicates. Uh, there's a handful that have two, two kinds of that animal in the game. And if you end up making a pair during the game, then you get a $100 reward as a bonus for making that pair. So that's just a little, another little part of the game that, you know, doesn't play too much into it, but has a little impact in, in certain scenarios. Um, I will get one tiger though. Okay. And uh, good luck catching up to my diversity. Yeah, that's, I don't think that's going to happen. I think that <laughs> that award is pretty much locked up. I, I just got to hope that it's on the bottom of the deck. You're right. Um, and I'm going to... You know, I'm going to make probably the what my brain is telling me and not my... Uh, my heart. My heart wants to get the gorilla or the, the Gemsbach, an animal, but I'm going to get this uh, Dippin' Dots. That's what my stomach is telling me, too. So. <laughs> well, I mean, that's a good move, seeing that we haven't had any admissions yet, so you didn't miss out on any of them. Yep. I can't let you be the only one making money off of these uh, $9 ice cream cups. All right, your turn. Let's see. Uh oh, come on. That's the, that's the one. There's only one of these cards in the whole deck, and that's not the one you wanted to draw right now, Brandon. All players with an animal, 100 to the zoo with the veterinarian. Pay the bank. Okay, discard an animal if you cannot pay. Great. And is that is that both of us that have to pay some? It is, yeah. So I guess I have to pay my 100 now. So I'm broke now but you uh you paid the price for being broke so <laughs> okay so in this one i'm gonna discard the alligator okay so then now i have to go and is there anything that is free wow i got i messed myself up big time well, that toucan is free for you. Oh, yeah. That's good. Because you've got the aviary. Glad that card's coming in handy. And you could, uh, at this point, you can't draw the alligator back at a discount. Well, you don't have money, but another rule is you can't draw a card from the discard that you, that you discarded that turn. Um, you could either, let's see. Could I trade one of them in? You could. I don't know if that would help you much. Probably not. Uh, although the mountain lion has two icons. He's a dangerous and a, a feline, a big cat, while the cheetah only has the big cat That's true. Um, icon. So you could try to gain an icon by trading, or you could take a chance uh, on either deck. Maybe there's a oh. staff or facility. Maybe you'll draw a tour guide or something. I mean, there's... There's 13 cards in that deck now, and probably four of them would pay you money right now. So, Okay, so that would be the smarter one, and I could have the chance of getting a bird, which would be awesome, but low chance. Let's right. see. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go with this one. So draw the top one, mm -hmm. and flip it over, see what we got. Oh, Draw 500 right now, but also discard one of your staff. Let's go. It's probably a good, good trade-off. Sorry, security guard, but I will take $500 gladly. And I didn't mention this yet. Um, sorry for those watching. Every card has a star rating on it you've seen. A staff, facility, animal, they all have a star. That's a prestige rating, and... 
Uh, one of the award cards is the most prestigious zoo, where when that comes up, all players will count all the stars in their zoo, and whoever has the most wins. But on top of that, for certain awards, uh, the stars are the tiebreaker. So if we both end up with three cats or three birds, it's whoever has the highest star total for that group wins that award. So you, you've got that one. You're pretty far ahead in that one right now. <laughs> yeah. Having more cards is always an advantage. So that was, that, that was your two actions, right? Yes. The, the toucan and the investor. Okay. So now my turn, an event. No admissions yet, uh, but we have a government stimulus. So hey. we, each, we each get 100 bucks. Because of our staff. Okay. Yep. That was kind of a, a nod to 2020. And, uh, <laughs> you know, these zoos out there, they, they really needed that stimulus money uh, per employee or however it worked to stay open. So um, that's an advantage. If you can time, you know, if you can build up your staff and time it before this card comes up, then you can get uh, make bank on that. I only have a hundred dollars because I I blew it all on some big name animals like the <laughs> tiger, so um, I can afford the alligator now because this is a hundred dollars off since it's from the discard. So I'll take an alligator, and I'll go ahead and I'll take the security guard. He's out there looking for a job. I will gladly take him because that <laughs> animal escape event has not come up yet. So. Great. Well, you just profited a lot from the stuff that I got rid of. <laughs> Your turn now. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Made for TV. Your zoo, start a documentary. $100 for each animal in your most populous habitat. So that's just 100 Yep. That works. My, if I had drawn that, I would have gotten 200 since I have two waters. Two water. <coughs> Excuse Bless me. You. Okay. Let's see how we want to go about this. So remind me again, there's the 300 and the 200. Which one is for how many players? So the 200 in gray is for a four-player game. Okay. Two or three player, you're playing. You're paying the the blue. Three hundred. Okay. So let's see. That is for endangered animals, and gorillas endangered, tigers endangered. But those are still pretty pricey. It's around this point in the game that you really have to know what awards you're going for you know this is your third turn and uh you know you got five more turns before the uh first award phase so you got to think you know i have limited turns left so i need to choose a strategy settle on a on a path or a few paths okay we're gonna go mountain lion Costs two hundred. So we pull that there, there, and then let's go anaconda. It's only a hundred. We'll see how that ends up. Why isn't it letting me drag? Yeah, hey, where'd your anaconda go? It's showing up on there still, still right there. Can't drag it for some reason. Oh, there you go. Oh. Steam session failed. Uh, so just try to log back in. Tabletop Simulator is, um, is kind of, on some nights, their server struggle, so. <laughs> That makes sense. I was I was wondering why it wasn't coming along. Now everybody knows the password to the server. Just zoo. <laughs> okay. All right. So claim claim where your 
Yep. We'll pick it up where you left off. Okay, so that was your turn then, right? That was, and I just need to turn in 500 and take 400 back. Interesting move. Probably, probably a good move to, uh, you know, you had a lot of money. It was probably tempting to blow it all, but you already learned your lesson, I guess. <laughs> oh, whoops, that's the wrong pile. <laughs> Man, this is tabletops being fun right now. Oh, really? Okay. $200. Hey, we did it. Okay, you're up, Evan. And a reminder for anybody watching as Evan is going through, if you have any questions about the Kickstarter or things like that, uh, Evan is glad to, to answer any questions throughout this live stream. Yep. Anything at all, anything that comes to mind, feel free to chime in on your thoughts while you're seeing this. Like, uh, wait, wait, you get to play that on me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. You're getting the, you're getting the short end of the stick on some of these. Give them the bad publicity. Yeah. Feel, free to, feel free to chime in and, uh, you know, tell us what animals to get. Brandon, I'm, it looks like the whole $200 deck is missing. Did you grab the whole deck by chance? I think you did. It looks like I did. Uh, the other, the other one. Other one? Okay. If you hover over it, it'll tell you how many cards are uh, in yep. there. Yep. Nope, that's, that's my money. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So only one. There we go. All right. Okay. Uh, where were we? we I just it is to... your turn. You just need to refresh the market. Yeah. Animal show. Um, you did an event with uh, bad publicity already, right? Oh, <laughs> I totally forgot. I lost track for a second with all the uh, the tabletop slowness. Tabletop. No, you're good. Well, I guess we know what the next event is, so. I will pick all the show animals. No, I'm <laughs> um, You know, in real life, it'd be easier to resolve that because you could just mix it back in with the rest of the top or something. But in this in this case, I'll just play. Uh, let's see, what would I have done? I real I really don't have any money right now. That's why I took two. Yeah. So my options are limited to begin with. Um, I could trade an animal. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trade in my polar bear for this tiger. Wow. So I could do that because both the polar bear and the tiger are five stars. So I could trade it in for something of equal or, or lesser rating there. Oh, um, so, so it's not on based on price. It's based on star count. So it actually, it's, it's, it's based on price or star count. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. That's cool. Although at the, um, before we go to production, we're going to do a final, you know, a final test and make sure everything is exactly how we want it. We've been, you know, testing and playing for, for over a year and we've had this final version for several months. But, you know, there's little things like that. It's like, should we make it the star and the price? It might be more simple if it's just so. We have to run through some of those scenarios and see if that's a little tweak we want to make or not before production. Um, yeah, that's awesome. So then you mentioned this earlier. You get $100 because you match the Tigers, right? Correct. Yes. Thank you for, for reminding me. So now I have $100 and I can do, <laughs> uh, do something. Um, I probably would have liked to have the zookeeper. He's a hundred dollars. And now I'm also two staff cards ahead of you in the race for the staff of the year award. Okay. Which is basically just the most staff, biggest staff. So, um, yeah, but you know, we're trying to keep it more thematic. So each award kind of has maybe a, a nice thematic name to it. A staff of the year. So back to you and i guess at this point we know what the event is yeah so 
So, so we both get money, $100 for each show animal. Yeah. Okay, so I have a toucan. I think that's my only one. Yeah. And then, and then I you... have an alligator and two tigers are both show types. So well, that worked out well for you. Yeah. Well done. Okay. So let's see what we want to do. It's more fun in person too because you know the cards are bigger. You're not squinting to you know when you yeah. can see the detail. That's really the the highlight of our game is the animal art, right? Because it's they could be used as flashcards to teach kids about animals, but when you're playing on this little screen, you don't get to that full experience of of seeing the detail. Okay, we are gonna go with the Gemsbach which costs 200, I believe. Yeah. I'm going to put that in there. And then let's see what we want to do for the second one. Remember that polar bear is $100 off too, so maybe you can flip the script on a Most Diverse Award. Yeah, I might have to try to save up for that. Uh, let's go. Let's go gift shop. Take $200 and have another facility. Okay. So is that there... Card Sorry, go ahead. I was going to say with that card, the gift shop, you can either take $200 cash or you could take a $100 animal for free from the market there, which you could have taken the otter, but you'll go with the money, huh? Yes. <laughs> Very nice. You, you know what it's like to be broke. You ain't going back there ever again. No, not again. After after that investor came into my life, I, <laughs> I'm a better, better financial steward. He taught you all about finances, huh? <laughs> all right. Back to me then, right? Yep. All right. Let's flip this award. Okay, this is a nice one. Um, so I get a hundred, but I also choose an opponent to get a hundred. Which, so you know, you can say thank you. In a three or four player game, that card becomes more interesting and strategic because it's like, hmm, who do I want to give the money to? And wait, did you, sorry, did you give me a hundred? I did. Yeah, sorry. No, you did that. Thank so. You. You know, you got to, in, in the three or four player game, it can create some drama. And that's kind of why you want to decide who you want to give that bad publicity to also, because they might pay you back at some point by choosing you to do the exchange with or uh, choosing you to not choosing you to get the money. <laughs> um, okay, so I, I actually have enough money to get that polar bear back. Um I miss him, so I'm going to spend all my money. <laughs> I'm going to get the polar bear back so you can't try to go for most diverse. Um, I suppose you still could, though, because I don't have any savanna animals. Um, I think we're tied for most diverse right now. Are we right now? What's the tiebreaker for most diverse? The tiebreaker is just number of reptiles, which we're also tied on that right now. So that award would either go back to the bottom of the pile if, uh, if you or I don't break that, that current stalemate in the next, uh, you know, by the time that award comes up. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to I'm going to take a chance on the staff and facility deck. Okay. Animal shelter. I can't afford it cuz I have no money, but what that does is it protects all the animals of a single habitat. Um so you can like protect all of your jungles or protect all of your savanna animals from any of those events which could take those animals away. So Okay, so then it's my turn? It is, yep. Okay. So we'll pull one of these cards, flip it, and see what we got. Admission! It's so fine. then we both receive 200 because we both have a dip in dots, right? Yep. Okay, let's see.
Now I'm thinking, is this the turn where Brandon's going to blow all his money, or is he going to make sure he wins the most profitable zoo award? Which, if that one comes up, it's just whoever has the most cash on hand. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Zookeeper, animal rescue cards may not be played. Curator. Ooh. Oh. I kind of like that one, but it scares me a little bit. The curator? Yeah. So the good thing about it is you're going to get two cards out of a single action, even if it's not a great animal you get, right? Every animal you get the staff. is going to help you at some, you know, at some level. You know, let's go for it. Let's see what happens. Okay, so 300. Hey, there's 200. And 100. Wait. That's a gift shop. Can't give that one back. 200 and a 100. Okay, so I draw two of them. Draw two. You could, yep. You can do that. So I don't have a rule on sometimes people don't want to share what they drew and just pick the one that they want. But sometimes it's fun just for everyone to see what the options were. So there, that's a pretty obvious choice there. Yeah. That's what I was afraid of is, is their bird cards. I could have gotten them for free, but I'll take, I'll take a bald eagle along with the curator. That's pretty nice. So then if Flamingo goes back in, can you shuffle the deck? I'm sure that would be a little yep. bit of a struggle for me. I got it. So yeah, so after with that card, um, after you pick the one you want, you put the other one back into the deck and just shuffle the deck, which is obviously different from uh, how you'd shuffle in real life. <laughs> with, that, with that card, that just counted as one of his actions. So now he still has one action left. Okay, so let's see what I want to do. You know, oh. one of the feelings, what are you going to say? I'm trying to figure out because getting the elephant would be nice for a couple of my, a couple of the, the prestige cards at the end, but it might be too much money. <laughs> You're still feeling that. I'm still feeling that burn from earlier. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go for it. Do it. And That's what the game's about. Animals, right? So hope that there's some more admissions in there soon because we only had one so that is all your money huh i have one left oh you had one okay i didn't see if you had paid um so um oh yeah elephant is 400 i was thinking he was 500 for some reason um refresh the markets now and draw my event which is Animal Rescue. So in this event, in place of my two actions, I can take one at random from Brandon. Wow. Or if there was someone else, I could choose them and take an animal at random. So that's interesting. Um, do I want to do that or do I want my two turns? Um... If I take from you, then everyone watching will be like, wow, that Evan guy's a nasty dude. Um, hey, play, play, play it strategically, however however you feel best. <laughs> it's about um, becoming the zoo king at whatever cost. Yeah. You know, the, one of the fun parts of this game is, is I really like fantasy football. Um, uh -huh. So for anyone that's into that out there, basically you, you're drafting players in a draft at the beginning of the year with whoever you're in the league with. And every week you choose, you know, who's playing and you hope that they score points and stuff and you get points for your team. So it's, it's kind of has that vibe of it where it's like, okay, I'm going to draft these ones and let's see how it plays out with the awards, with the events. Let's hope that these ones bring me a victory. So, um, 
That was just kind of a random aside as I was thinking whether I should draft <laughs> some animals or take from, I'm just going to take from you because I only have 200 bucks and uh, there is a groundskeeper card, which is an interesting card because that allows you to replay an event. So Brandon might just use his next turn to do an animal rescue against me, but he can't. He cannot because I have the zookeeper. So if you zoom in on my zookeeper, okay, animal rescue events may not be played against you. So, but he could replay the exhibit exchange event, which was not, which came up, but was null and void previously in the game to trade an animal. But then he's risking, uh, he's risking me grabbing one of his random animals. Um, <laughs> So yeah, I'm just sorry. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna do this after much ado. I'm just gonna use my two turns to take an animal at random from you. Which in real life, you would put them all in your hand, and I would pick one at random, and you'd be seeing what uh, where my eyes are going and shuffling. But in this <laughs> game, I just double click. Here we go. Uh, it didn't work. Let's try again. There we go. I got the cheetah. Okay. So your turn now. That's my turn. Okay. Sorry, um, Brandon. Before, no, you're you're totally fine. That was one that I got at the beginning, so I'm good with that. Um, really quick, there was a comment in there from Jed Ward. Uh, said, "Cool rendering." Hi, Jed. How are you doing? Um, How's it going, Jed? I think he's talking about Tabletop Simulator. It's pretty cool how they have this uh, the ability to to put games on here. It's been really nice. I know for you, Evan, to be able to play test with. So definitely recommend it to to people to. To play test games on Jed is is a game creator as well. I, okay, I don't cool. I don't think you've met him yet, Evan. But no, I haven't. Thanks for hopping on, Jed. We can connect afterwards if you if you want <laughs> talk game. Admission. Woo! -hoo! Okay, so we both get two hundred dollars. Much needed. Yep. Okay, so groundskeeper. I can replay any discarded event card immediately. Yeah. So is there any way I can look through these? You know, I don't know the button to do that on simulator. Okay. Um, do you, there was the one can, in there where you get 100 for each different type or was it 100 for all in one type? Uh, so the different for a hundred for different, uh, theme, different habitat. That's the tour guide card. The one that was in here was the uh, the made for TV, $100 for each animal in your best theme. Okay. So you would get 200 for that if you replayed that. Okay, cool. Let's see where we want to go because we're coming up close on some, of, on some event or what are they called? Awards. Awards, yeah. That that one. <laughs> oh, Jed, Jed responded again. Never tried Tabletopia, but I'll have to give it a shot. Great for the pandemic. Yeah, it's been, it's been great for like, like Evan lives in Utah. I live in Arizona and we're now able to play Zoo King together through this. So it's pretty nice. Yeah. And there's, there's a bunch of, you know, classic games and stuff on it too. Okay. I got to go for something cheap because I don't have a lot of money. So let's go for river otter partially because I want it. And partially because I don't want you to have more water and try to get a bunch of one theme. Oh, I see. Let's see. That one's 300, 200. Okay. I don't want to blow all my money again. So animal rescue, I couldn't do because that's both actions, right? Right. Okay. I'm going to do the groundskeeper and just take the one where I get the $200, the $200 made for cash. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Zoo inspection. So there's two of those in the deck and I got the second one, but I pass inspection because I have <laughs> an animal, a staff and a facility. So I'm good there. Um, I 
What do I want to do? Well, they're all jungle animals up here, so I guess... That's a good point. Um... Okay, I'm gonna get the lemur for 200. Okay. And in real life, I might have more space, but I <laughs> kind of got to keep it. The, the reason we have this play area here is the take random card button is coded to only take animal cards from within the dark square area. So I'm going to just put my the dots over here normally people like to kind of cascade their oh where did i just put my there it is my tiger people normally like to cascade their cards in real life a little bit kind of like that it's a little harder on here yeah especially if um, they stick together and make a deck um so evan just real quick finish your turn um but there's a question in the chat for you from from Jed once you're done. So if you yeah. want to answer that when it's my turn, I got I got an eye on it, and it's it's a fun question. Um, <laughs> for my second move, I'm going to get the animal shelter because it's now free since it was from the discard. So the discard cards are they have one hundred dollars off. It's not that they're always free, but a hundred dollars off. So perfect. I'm going to use this to protect my jungle theme. So you would kind of place it. Um, that is a great move around there. Okay, let's see. What's the question, Jed? Um, Could you I'll refresh the market really quick while I go? Yep. Thank you. Was Tiger King or Zootopia your bigger inspiration? <laughs> so, um, I don't know if you were on when I kind of talked about like my history of just loving animals and zoos, and then loving games, and we kind of you know we made this during the pandemic. Um, the answer to your question is Tiger King, uh, and, and here's why, um, Tiger King got really popular. That's that Netflix, um, documentary about that guy that had, had his own zoo, um, had because he didn't take care of it. Uh, like he, like me and Brandon are taking care of our zoos. Um, yeah, he was just, he just had one of those roadside traction zoos, which are, are, pretty pretty awful right um so but it was around that time that you know we were stuck in the house everyone was watching that show we got into it and uh, i already i think i had already had i don't remember if i had, had the idea to make the game but i was watching it and i was like you know this guy is he did something crazy and it was just interesting to watch it like i love I love the animals and I was kind of like jealous of like being able to be around animals. Cause that's, that's pretty cool. Maybe in a future career, I could be a zookeeper or something, but just watching that show, it was so crazy. It kind of inspired me to do something crazy. So that's, that's how it inspired me was I could do something crazy. Um, why don't I make a card game? You know? So I kind of just, after the animals, it all just kind of, mesh together like we were playing games i love animals and i was like let's do something crazy make a game about animals so that's probably uh not the way you were expecting me to answer that. <laughs> that's, uh, that's why it was the tiger king <laughs> so yeah zoo king was kind of a play off of that and i thought it was a good kind of bold and but yet generic kind of name um what did you do brandon so I felt pretty good about my turn. I got the African gray parrot for free because of my aviary card. That one finally paid off in a really big way. Um, and then I also bought the red panda, which I, I like how many stars there are. Yeah. And I'm excited that there's an event deck or an award one coming up soon. So I'm hoping that that'll help turn the tide for oh, a couple man. of days. Yes, we're there already. Uh, so that was a good move by you. So. Now you can see there's a yellow card here, which is the first event. So what we are first award. So when this comes up, we just take flip each award one by one and we give it out. And remember the first one to four is the zoo king. Dang it. That one's yours. So big cat king. That's uh, I've got three cats in my zoo. You only, I got one. one. So I am the big cat king, the tiger king. I'll just keep my, uh, my, award <laughs> right here. 
I'll let you do the honors of drawing up the second award. Okay. A card game is much safer than buying a tiger. <laughs> it is dead. Most endangered. So I have one. I've got four. Let's see. Two. Man, did I lose by one on that? <laughs> Dang, come on. Well done. Thank you. Am I going to win the whole first phase? Let's, Let's see. see. I, I, I hope not. I felt my zoo was a little better than that. <laughs> Best themed. We tied. Because I have three mountain and you have three jungle. What's the... The tiebreaker is who has the highest star rating. And I think... Did you beat me by have... one? Oh, we tied. We tied. Because I have I have 12, and 12. you also have 12. Oh, wait. Yeah, you have 12. Oh, my gosh. So, again, in real life, what we would do is we would just put this on the very bottom of the deck. And if the game progressed where it happened to come up later, then we'll resolve it then. But I don't know how to do it on here. Maybe there's a way, but we'll just put it to uh, to the side here, and we'll, you know, if this happens again, then we'll just put them in order so we know which ones uh, are next. But and it shouldn't it shouldn't happen though in a two player game, right? Because there's ten awards and you only have to win four. So right. Well, and let, if the tiebreaker is a tie on several, oh, that's true. Then it will come back. Okay. And there's rules, um, you know, in the rule book. There's the full rules. Um, if it ties a second time, even after the tiebreaker, then it's a shared award. And if that puts someone to the required number, then that person wins. So, okay. But yeah, not, my advantage is only two right now. So there's a, there's a chance for you here. So now play continues because we're back to awards. So in a two-player game, we're each going to get two more turns before the next phase. So it's my turn and I got an admission. So we each I'll get 200. Um, Jen had a question of what's the highest animal. Um, that's the five star, right? Evan, five is the highest? Yep. Um, in the expansion pack, which we have the the first expansion pack is already available on the Kickstarter. It's just in a tier that's just $5 more. So our, our plan, right, when we were making this game, we could go any direction with animals. There's so many animals. And everyone was always saying, I want this animal. I want that animal. You should be able to do this. So our plan is to do mini expansions, you know. So we decided to make it like the Pokemon booster booster packs a little bit. Um, so there's going to be, you know, not a huge amount of cards. So this first mini expansion is a 12 card booster pack, which contains a new award, which is actually an award that doesn't go in the deck. It's one that can float around during the game. It's for whoever has the most uh, camera icons in their zoo. So if, um, like your gift shop or the Dippin' Dots, you'll see in the base game, these cards have the camera, but they don't have, the camera means nothing in the base game. But with the... With the expansion, it's the most memorable zoo, whoever has the most icons. So okay. first person to three can grab that award, but if someone surpasses them, then it can move around. But I, I bring up the expansion pack because there's a manatee in the expansion pack, and he's six star. She's wow. six stars. That's awesome. But there's a six star manatee. But in this, in this uh, base game... There's there's a bunch of five star animals. There's the elephant, polar bear, bald eagle, red panda, panda, white tiger. Um, I think that might be it. Black panther, actually. Um, okay, so that was our event. I think it's your turn. My turn. Okay, so I've already won the cats and the endangered. Um, Am I going to do the trifecta and get the dangerous too? Because the uh, my tigers <laughs> are... You always got to be careful of people when they go after the tigers, you know? Um, so you kind of got to get um, some big cats to counteract it or try to get a tiger or something. But let's see, dangerous, I have one, two, three. I have four dangerous animals. You have one, two, three. So I am winning that so far. Um, I'll get another dangerous animal. I'll get the 
Yeah, this this part of the game is a little easier in person because you can quickly count how many icons each person has right. rather than squinting. Yeah, so I have the advantage because I know every card by heart. <laughs> um, you know, if I, if you were asked to ask me to list to name every card to name all the icons, I could do it in probably under a minute. Um, but with Brandon, you're probably uh, trying to you know zoom in and, and see on the screen. So I got a chimpanzee. He is a dangerous animal. So now I have five dangerous animals in my zoo. Wow. And I have a hundred bucks. Um, hundred bucks ain't gonna do much here. I'm gonna. I'll take a chance. Um, now I'll grab this volunteer just to guarantee that you can't challenge me for this most staff. So it's a free card, which, um, which, which can cause, I mean, you could, if you do that exhibit exchange, if that comes up and you trade an animal that you didn't want, you can make the person redo it, but you'd have to discard your volunteer to do so. Um, the text might be outdated on, on this tabletop simulator. So what happens to be the uh, tiebreaker for staff? The stars. The stars in total or the stars of the staff? Of just the staff. Okay. Yeah, for any award, it's uh, where it's like a certain thing, and then the tiebreaker is the stars for just that subset. So the bad publicity would not affect me in that? It does not. Okay. Is that, that affects what I do potentially. Okay. So I can try to tie you right now for most of a theme. It won't cost me very much. Oh wait, I have to do an event. We'll see how that changes things. <clears throat> Exhibit exchange. You and an opponent of your choice must trade one <laughs> animal at random. So my volunteer might come into play if you pick something I don't like. Um, so so we we pick it and then you choose whether or not you want to I want you to redo it. Yeah. So I, I I need to replace the verbiage on the the, fi the file the image here in the game. But the in real life the uh, final version has text to to kind of change it a bit where it's. Um, well, we'll see here if it plays out. But if Brandon picks my... Now, he can't get anything from my protected. So I wouldn't include those in my hand for him to pick in real life. But since this is going to pick anything that's in this area, I'll just remove those from this area. Okay. For now. But yeah, say he picks the polar bear. I can discard my volunteer and make him choose again, but I do still include the polar bear in your second attempt. It's not like it's no longer a possibility. Oh, so, wait, so I, I redo it? Is that how that works? Yep, yeah, you'll redo it. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, so I click take random card and you do the same? Yep, so you can take, and you got the polar bear. <laughs> so, okay, so, so this is where it gets interesting because if I discard my volunteer, then you could claim a staff. Claim a staff to take the lead there, because um, I'll if I discard my volunteer, I'll be will be tied. Um, but you probably hold the tiebreaker. Uh, no, I think I I would hold the tiebreaker because yeah. So it could play out where where I lose control of that award. Um, but the polar would probably give you the most diverse zoo. Um, what do I take my chances on? <laughs> okay. I'm going to discard it. Okay. Interesting. So then I give you back your polar bear, but I put him on the outside. No, he's still in. Oh, he's still in the random thing. Yep. Oh, come on. That would be awesome if I could get it. Okay. Ah, my cheetah. Got my cheetah back. Get your cheetah back. Okay. So now you do All it. Right. Take from you. Toucan. Well, 
That's probably what you wanted me to get. That's that's all right. Okay, let's see. So that did give me a nice two card advantage for the most of a of a single one. Best themed, unless you get unless two you of big, the yeah. What's the what's the tiebreaker for the most of a theme? Stars within that theme. Okay, and you would have that. So let's see. I have right now. I have 10, 13, I have sixteen stars in my jungle. Okay, I'm gonna have to ask your help on this because I can't look at him fast enough. What what is our comparison between uh, endangered and dangerous? Uh, so I already won the the conservationist award for the endangered. Okay. For dangerous, you have one, two, three, and I have one, two, three, four, five. So I'm, okay. I'm ahead two on dangerous. So that one's not going to be good for me to do. Okay. I'm going to go double free on this turn. I'm going to take Warthog, and I'm going to take Volunteer. Oh, interesting. Okay, your turn. All right. So this will be my last turn before the next set of awards. You'll have one more. Bad publicity, <laughs> so I, I'll double up on you for that. Wait, isn't there a rule that you can't have two of the same card? Two of the same staff or facility. <laughs> <laughs> so close. Yeah. So that if that probably hurt your chances, it took you out of the running for most prestigious zoo. Very possible. Um, okay, my turn. I have a hundred bucks. Um, oh, you know what? Let's see. I just realized that I've been neglecting to take my extra hundred dollars because I have the Dippin' Dots and the Safari Grill. So and, uh, Safari Grill is only when you draw it. How many have you done? Have you drawn on your turn? I'm not sure. <laughs> I think there's probably only been four. Maybe you drew two. I drew two, but it's that's okay. I don't. Um, if you the way I play is if you snooze, you lose. So okay. Maybe at your house you're nice and you say, "Yeah, you go ahead and take what what you forgot to." <laughs> I I would probably go that route, but it depends um, on depends on the way people play for sure. Yep. Yeah. Do I want to get something for sure, or do I want to take a chance? <laughs> Hope there's a free animal or a $100 animal in here. What the heck? I'm just going to get the zebra. Are you doing anything else for your turn? Um... Sorry, I was thinking that was my second move for some reason. I'll take a chance. I'll take a chance on uh, the animal deck. Okay. Don't have any money, so I can't get it. Okay, your turn. Okay. Donation drive. You and an opponent of your choice receive a hundred from the bank. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and choose you, Evan. You can take a hundred from the bank. <laughs> You're so nice. See. <laughs> okay. So. I'm going to go top card. Oh, you're taking a chance. See how this turns out. Um, doesn't do much for you, I guess, right now. 
Oh, because I already have the. You already have a desert, and the endangered award already came out. So. And it, the reptile is just a tiebreaker for one of the other ones, right? Yeah, unless unless we're tied for that, but. Tied for which one? For most diverse, but I might. I think I have all of the theme, the habitats. Let's see. So I've got all six habitat I've types. Got five. Which, you got five. So, and you already have desert. So yeah. Also in the expansion pack, uh, there's another. I guess there's two. Well, no, there's so there's one new habitat type in the expansion, and that is outback because we put a kangaroo in the expansion. So there's the outback habitat. Uh, and another animal that's in there is the peafowl, the peacock. And he's actually a wild card habitat. Now, oh, he wow. does, yeah, it, it, now it doesn't count as its own. It can't be on its own. It has to be in another habitat, but it counts as an extra animal for whatever habitat you put it in. So that's cool. Yeah. So my second action, I took the Scarlet Macaw for free. Yeah. It was free on two different accounts. That's right. <laughs> All right, and now okay. we're back to the awards. So let's see. I have to win two of these three to be in the running. Yep. High flyer. That's you. Hey. Paid it's not off. coming on my screen for some reason. What's Still that? The, Still the yellow background. Oh, there we go. Just yeah, being weird. Hey, I got one. That's that's <laughs> exciting. The last yeah, time we played on, on tabletop, you sweat me. I did. I have your number. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe you're going to come back. I'll hey. let you do the honors on the next one. Let's see how this goes. Most diverse. Okay. Well, we counted that one, I guess, and that went to me. So, all right, let's see here. If I win it, I remain the zoo king. If I don't <laughs> win it, then you live to fight another round. And it is the most prestigious zoo. Oh, bad publicity. Come on. Let's see. Count up mine really quick. Okay. What do you got? Um, I think I have 38. I think I have 45. I think I have 49 minus the four for bad publicity. Well, if that's what you counted, then I think you, you got me there. And I'm not surprised because, let's see, because you've got. Yeah, I have 49, 49 minus the four for bad publicity. Okay, let me make sure I didn't miscount mine or something, because sometimes I'm yeah. off by 10. Let's see, 1, 5, 10, 13, 16, 17, 20, 25, 27, 29, 32. Oh, maybe I have 42 or something, but you won. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> How did you win with the two bad publicities? That's crazy. So I have, I have these two... Um, facilities that are threes aviary and ice cream and then i have the curator who's a three so that's just outside of my animals that's right and then yeah. i only have one one star two two some threes i have i have three fives and i four. have two fives and a four but yeah you've got more threes where you've got threes i've only got twos so okay yep well it's, that it's was, funny. It's funny to like look at them all and be like, and then it's funny after the game to actually look at it and be like, okay, whose zoo would you really want to go to? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're taking it the full the full okay. way now. This is the last chance for us to uh, to play. And as you alluded to, it's fun because some some games, you know, it's over quick, and some games it, it goes the full length. Um, so you never know. And uh, is that yours? This is my event, but fortunately, and you weirdly, have I have security. And I tell you guys, even in a four-player game, half of the time, the person that drew that card 
has the security, so they're safe from it. It's like this weird <laughs> thing where he really pays off the security guard. I'm telling you. Um, I mean, he would he would have paid off if he stayed in my hand because then you would have lost an animal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. I picked him up off uh, unemployment there. You did. You, I I discarded him for the investor. It was yeah, a good financial investor. decision, but yeah, came back to bite. Investor fired him. Okay, so. At this point, you're like, what are we going for? So if you want to click on the uh, award, uh, the reference card there, High Fire, Big Cat King, Top Conservationist, all already came out. Most Dangerous is still out there, um, but I think I am holding that still by one or two. Uh, the Most Staff is still out there. The, the, the Most of the Single Habitat is still out there. Um, well, I guess that's the one that was tied at first. So that's up at the top. Um, most animals, straight up most animals. You might have even come back on that. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. So we have dangerous. Do we have we have best theme? I'm writing them all down so I can actually go after this. You're you're act you actually have more animals than me by one. I, I have I think uh -huh. it's been that way for most of the game. I, I snuck ahead, and that every time I've checked, it's been it's been by one. You snuck ahead and stayed ahead. Uh, most profitable, which is just the money. There's the staff and the dangerous. Uh, so, yeah. Um, staff. Do I have money to go after staff? Because you're, you snuck ahead on that, too. So you – so we – sorry, one more time. We have – Dangerous, most I've or most animals, most profitable and staff. Just yep. those and four left. Plus the best themed one. Which is on the side. Point. Okay. Cool. Okay. I, I I guess I'm gonna draw. This is crazy. I didn't think I'd be this much in the running. This is exciting. <laughs> I think I'm gonna are there any staff left? Oh, there's a curator out there still, but I wouldn't have the money to get them. There's another tour guide, but I can't get him because staff or facility cards, you can't have two of the same. Um, I think all the other free ones are out. You can buy that veterinarian. <laughs> if I had the money, do I go for... I can't really... Okay, so I'm going to have to just take a chance on one of these and hope that it pays me money. And it doesn't. Dang it. It's the trainer. Um, now what do I do? Do I do I trade? Um, <clears throat> just a, just a quick question on gameplay. If no. you wanted to, can you flip over another staffer facility one and try your luck at that? I can. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yep. But I'm worried that I'd just be out. I mean, even if I get something that gives me money, I won't be able to use the money. <clears throat> so I might just try trading something. Um, okay. Here's what I'm going to do. No, I can't do that. Um, let's see for this. Man, oh man. Uh, I think I'm going to, I'm going to stay put. I'm going to stay put and make it so that you can't spend all your money. Uh, yeah. So you can obviously see my money because my screen is being shared. Could oh, I know how much money you have? Would that be allowed? It's a 100. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So in a normal game, it's there's no hidden. rule on that. So if oh. someone doesn't want to share, they don't have to. But since I can see yours in the... It's only <laughs> right that you know what mine is. Perfect. Well, thank you. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm going to flip this, see what we got. Oh, wait, this I do, I do have one more turn after this, I guess. We're, we just started another... Yeah. That's right, okay. So we each have is we each have one more. Is that how that works? Correct. Yeah. Well, okay. you have the rest of this turn, and then. So we both get two hundred. We both get two hundred. 
And now I remember if I had drawn it, then I would get the extra for my supplier grill. So maybe I'll draw that next time. Let's see. So you have five dangerous animals, right? Yeah. And my okay. objective was to make it so you couldn't get that rhino, but. So that's, that's scary for me because if that one gets pulled up, you win. Even if I lock down the other three, because you just need one more. But let's, let's see what we can do with this. I'm going to flip over the top of the animal. Well, yeah, we're going to flip over the top of the animal and see what it is. What, what are you hoping it is? I'm hoping it's a bird. Then I'd get it for free or something cheap. So it's an ostrich, so I get it for free. Okay, well, that helps you for the habitat for sure. For which one? For the one that's waiting there at the top that's for if it comes back around. That's true. It also helps me for most animals to try to lock that one in. And oh, so my yeah, second yeah. turn, I'm going to do tortoise, and I'm going to pay 100 for that one. Okay. You're up. All right. Now this is really my last turn. An admission, I get 300. Oh, you get 300. That's nice. Okay, so maybe I just decide to not buy anything so you have the pressure of not winning the most profitable zoo if you spend all your money. But <laughs> what will happen to me? <laughs> or are you just going to move ahead and everything else? Um, this is where the game gets fun because it's those mind games of back and forth. Yep. Wow. How you so like them three, apples? That one's 300. Okay, so then you have 300 left. Um, what should I what should I be doing? Any anyone uh, any of our watchers have a suggestion? <laughs> Care about this? We'll let the we'll let the viewers decide. Comment now, and that's the move that I'll do as my last move. Okay, you heard it. Next next person in the chat. Can I put something in the chat? No, you can't. You're <laughs> Dang it. So while we're waiting for you. that, um, what are what are we at right now on your Kickstarter? I think last I checked it was over eight thousand. Yeah, let's pull it up and see. Everyone must have uh, walked away from their computer or something. Oh, Jed Ward says coming down to the wire. Jed, you're you're gonna you're gonna decide his turn. What is he? What do you what do you want him to do? You tell me what to pick. Or if somebody else puts it in the chat before Jed. Kent Johnson, not sure the best move. <laughs> I think they just don't want to be responsible for whatever happens, right? <laughs> he said he'll leave it to the professionals. Okay, Evan, you got to make the choice. You you said you'd follow what he what they said, and they said they'd leave it to you. Okay. And in the um, meantime, we I looked it up right now. Your goal was five thousand. Within less than two days, you're at eight thousand three hundred and forty nine dollars. Cool. Very exciting. Thank you, everybody. That's uh. I guess I guess people like animals and card games, right? So they sure do. Um, but I really do appreciate everyone coming out to su to support this. I'm going to just I'm going to take a chance on the top card here. Oh, this could be really bad. No blocking, just score points. Um, I'm going to try to score money. That's what I'm going to try to do. Gift shop. Man, so now you have 500. Okay. So let's see what this event is first. Don't be money. Don't be money. <laughs> <laughs> it's an even money. Okay. But 
I get that same amount too. So exactly. So oh, yeah, 200, 200. So I can comfortably spend. <laughs> huh? So you have, you have 700. I have 700. Okay. Man. And we had a new we had a new viewer join us. They could feel the tension. <laughs> they felt the tension. We're drawn to this this yep. YouTube. Okay. So, I'm gonna go. I think Zookeeper potentially because that would be the cheapest. And oh, you're gonna go two staff, huh? Because that that one I can go. Well, I don't need two staff. I just need one. And that's only a hundred dollars, which gives me still the uh, edge. No, that. you're gonna need two. How many do you have? You have you have four, right? I have four, and you have four, right? If I buy the zookeeper, that gives me five. Oh, oh, right, 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 right. I, okay, yeah, I was, I was thinking my vet had superpowers, I guess, but I only <laughs> have four, so yeah. Dang it. Okay. Before I do the zookeeper, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna take the top one, see if I happen to get another bird. Okay. But it's free. It's free. Nice. And it's dangerous. Uh oh. I if I but you didn't catch up on dangerous, did you? I don't think so. I think I'm I think I'm still one down, and so I could buy one of these, but then I'd lose on both. We'd be tied on staff and we'd be Oh. You would lose the tiebreaker for staff. Because it's stars, yeah. Yep, let's go zookeeper. Ah, take the sure thing, right? Yep. Okay. Events. Let's go. Let's see how this goes. All Ooh. right. This could be it. You're. I feel like you're hopeful, and I'm kind of like, oh, uh, let's hope I can just pull out one more. Staff of the year. Yes. Okay. That was Come mine to... the whole game until the last <laughs> turn. Okay, it comes down to this one. This is so stressful. <laughs> you want me to go for it? You go for it. Okay. For all the cookies to be the zoo king. Most animals. Grimly Woo! Games is the zoo king. Oh, that was stressful. That was very fun. Dude, good job. Thank you. I was worried at the beginning that it was going to be a, a, a blowout right on the live stream. <laughs> so hopefully none of the fans left early because they missed quite the thriller. <laughs> that was and, awesome. And to be honest, that's kind of how this game is. You know, there's a lot of back and forth. There's a lot of surprises and uh, it can, it can go down to the wire. So it's, it's uh, I hope everyone enjoyed it. And uh, you know, let, let's see. I'm curious, whose zoo would you rather go to? <laughs> also, thank you, Kent. I appreciate that. Kent said, epic comeback. That, that was, was epic. It, it <laughs> definitely was a comeback because <laughs> it was a struggle at the beginning. Jen doesn't like blocking, so he just... <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what... Uh, I think in the end, because it's also fun to see like the other one, awards that didn't play out most dangerous and that I was for that one. Oh, I think so right that, one, that that one. One. yeah i think i i'm pretty sure i had four and you had five one, two, three, four. yep and then this one <clears throat> should be most profitable which would be mine because i have 800 mm. and then if it happened to be best theme i have five savannah you have five jungle What's the tiebreaker? The stars for that theme, for that Which habitat I think theme. might be yours. Five, eight, yeah. 11, 12, 13 for me. I got it 16. Okay. So overall, we tied on the events, but in the way that it comes out. That, that's an interesting aspect of the game for sure. Yeah, it's one that, you know, there's some people that uh, when they look at like the setup, they're like, oh, I don't know if that, if that's cool, it seems too random, but the way it plays out is really even. And, yeah. And after people play the game, 
they say that that was their favorite part of the game was really that, you know that there was just so much drama and uh, <laughs> surprise that there was you know you had to strategize and think in a different way but then it's kind of put it out there and see what the universe thinks of your strategy so um for sure yeah any 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 other uh comments or here i'm gonna pull i'm gonna pull that off really quick pull us both back on so yeah if anybody else has any other questions for evan while we're here uh we'll be here for the next few minutes and then um did you want to go over anything else evan uh, about the kickstarter campaign what people can expect there because for everybody that if you didn't know there's a link to his kickstarter in the description so if you want to go check it out head on over there just uh you know we we try to make it a really fun product right it's a good game in and of itself but it's also just fun to like look at and hold um the, the box cover is is really cool this is a little bit smaller than the final size um but it's just it's just a really neat gift for people so that's why one of our tiers is like a two package thing so you can um, or you can do like an add-on of a copy for, for a gift. Um, just trying to make it fun, something that we hope will get into gift shops, uh, zoo gift shops at some point. So that's kind of the next phase after we we fund and get it manufactured is see who out there wants to carry it. Um, so that that will be exciting to do after. As I'm just, I'm looking at myself now, I'm, uh, I remembered I, and the uh, the Zoo King shirt on to kind of promote that. These are add-ons in the campaign, so um, they're they're pretty pretty nice. Yeah, um, the art the art is definitely a huge huge draw in the game, especially for animal lovers. Yeah, I had to. Um, you know what? I mean, that's that's one of the reasons I made the game, and I knew I had to do it a certain way because. Like I said, I wanted to make a zoo themed game. I loved Zoo Tycoon growing up, build your own zoo. Um, so I wanted to make sure you had that feeling in the game. So the animal art had to be on on point. Um, and it just had to give you that, like a little bit of realist, realistic feeling, but also kind of nostalgic. And I think our artist kind of hit it right on the money. Yeah, so, for sure. Big, they, they, big they, shout out to the to the artist sublime studio out of uh, Argentina actually. So yeah. yeah, everything about this game is fantastic. Anybody that is on the fence about it, you need to go check out the Kickstarter. Um, like we said earlier, I backed it. I'm so excited for us to get this game. I actually backed it on the, the tier to get two of them. And we, we got one of them for a birthday gift. So nice. one of my brother-in-laws we play tested with absolutely loved it. So Perfect. It's, it's, it's a great game. Yeah, it's a perfect gift, especially if you have like a uh, you know niece or nephew doing some animal themed uh, game. Lack of Joe Exotic characters makes sense for gift. Yep, exactly. Yep. <laughs> but, I but, I agree with that completely. <laughs> yeah, we we had the thought at the beginning of making it kind of like a crazier theme like that, but we you know for two reasons: a like you just mentioned people wouldn't want that in the gift shop. And two, we wanted it to be more like a timeless game, not something kind of stuck to like a 2020 viral uh, crazy man. So, Yeah. I, I also think for me, seeing zoo gift shops, there's not a lot that I would personally purchase there. So no. I'll be excited to see Zoo King in there, maybe pick up an expansion or, or something in there in the future. That's right. Whenever you go into a gift shop at a zoo from now on, go ask the manager, hey, <laughs> why don't you guys have Zoo King here? It's a it's a card game. You need to go you need to get that in here. So that would be awesome. Just just flood it. Flood the yeah. zoos. Sounds okay, like a well, good marketing campaign. I should I should have people do that. <laughs> you should. You should mention it in the Kickstarter. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, we appreciate everybody coming out here for the live stream. Um, yes, thank you. Again, go check out the Kickstarter, and we will see you guys in the future. Thanks for coming on, Evan. Thank you, Brimley Games. We'll see you later. Thanks, okay. everyone. Bye, everyone.